Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, we have Kaname's banner uh, right beside Freya's. And well, that's what we're heading to do right now. Um, we're gonna check out Kaname's episode plate to see whether it's actually worthwhile to pull. Alright, so here we go. Total of 3,435 points. Well balanced that's all round so 3400 is pretty high. So with that said, let's take a look at the skills. Life element plates total will be increased by 30%. Now a pretty decent skill. Sadly to say it focuses on only blue element plates or life inochi. Yeah. So not really the best center skill, but it does do something. Alright, let's tap. Active skill, 20 seconds, your notes are easy, uh, easier to tap. So it basically improves your accuracy. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good skill and it lasts for 20 seconds. That's a very long time. So if you have missions um, in the upcoming event um, that actually requires you to not break combos or maybe you want to use this plate just to clear your perfect combo streaks, you know, these, this episode plate will help you out um, with that task. Alright, life skill. At the 30 second mark for 7 seconds, not a very long duration, your score is increased by 80% up. So, Kaname's plate tends to um, play a part in both the center position and the life skill support. Um, just that it seems like the active skill plays a higher role compared to the life skill. But, however, at looking, comparing her plate to Freya's recent new plate, Kaname's plate is definitely better than Freya's plate in terms of score boosting because Freya's plate is very conditional. It requires too many things to happen in order for the life skill to activate. So guys, um, if you want to pull um, gachas, I will highly recommend Kaname's gacha compared to Freya's gacha unless you actually require points from from Freya's gacha for her new outfit or even Mikumo's um, old costume points as well. Alright, so let's take a look at the last one which is very important to seal the deal basically on which gacha to pull or whether to actually toss in the money for this gacha or not. Kaname's plates have been giving off a lot of item notes. So if you notice all the major Kaname plates so far, they all have these item notes, which is very crucial for the current event, the ticketing event itself. Guys, if you don't know why is it important, please watch my tutorial video for the ticketing event. I'll leave the link in the description down below and the iCard up here. So guys, if this doesn't seal the deal for you, let's take a look at the next episode plate that is featured, which is Reina's returning episode plate. If you have not familiarized with your uh, with epi the episode plate itself, let's go through it once more. 3,213, not the highest total score, but it's on the mediocre side, uh, focusing more on voice and a bit of soul. Center skill, unit's voice increases by 60% up. So with this combo, you know it is more of a high score episode plate means it is there to achieve high score uh, challenges you know and it's more to uh, focus on the heart element songs as well active skill however life recovery of 30% so if this active skill was a score boosting active skill this would have been Reina's best episode plate out there um, so guys, you might want to consider obtaining Reina's plate um, just for life support. Uh, but if you are using it for recovery, I think there are better plates out there. There are some out there that actually recover 50% HP. So yeah, so looking, looking at life skill, at a 50 combo mark for 14 seconds, it is a very long duration compared to Kaname's and Freya's. Yeah. 80% score boost up so yeah definitely better than Kaname's episode play in terms of life skill but they both have their own beneficial 
uh, fact, uh, points when it comes to the notes. As you can see, Reina does drop score notes, which actually improves your high score. So guys, if you're aiming for high score challenges to hit the 3 million, 4 million mark in score, episode plates like this are very, very crucial. So guys, with two awesome featured episode plates, this gacha banner is a must pull. If you guys are following me on the uh, Macross Facebook group, uh, Macross FaceTime The Culture, you probably will have known that I've given a hint that this gacha banner is a must pull already by now. And of course, the exclusive episode plates for Kaname and Reina. So that's kind of sad for Reina <laughs> because Makina is uh, injured. Oh well. Anyway, guys, we're gonna do a few pulls for this banner. As you can see, I've got some singing stones ready. Um, probably gonna do four template pulls. I'm gonna keep 500 singing stones for the next uh, event gacha banners because you never know whether those banners will be as good as this one. So far, most of the episode plates that Kaname has have become staples in terms of gameplay. Guys, you know, whenever they prepare to release a Kaname banner, it's always good to have extra cash around or singing stones stored up. <laughs> so let's do this, guys. Okay, we do have some loading there. I am on my main account though, so um, when there's a bit of loading, I guess there's a chance for a new episode plate. One plane, two plane, three planes. No golden orb, no four and five planes, so that's kind of sad. Okay, we do have two red boxes. Hopefully those boxes will evolve. Or maybe I've used up all my luck from the last Ranka <laughs> uh, banner. Oh, we do have Mirage though, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, hopefully I'll get that Mirage plate to like plus 20 or something. Here we go, will this evolve? No, no evolution. Okay, that's fine. We have some um, 4 star episode plates that will... Oh, we do have a new plate for Kanami's costume, so that's pretty nice. There we go, so that's hopefully to unlock. Ooh, I have enough points for Cheryl's costume. Okay, we can do that unlocking later. Um, I'm gonna go out and reset the luck factor. Uh, it's just a superstition, um, but it does help from time to time, so guys, yeah. If, if, if this method actually helps you, do let me know in the comments down below. Okay, we do have some loading there. Hopefully we have enough points for Kaname's costume as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there is a chance for a five-star plate though. Two boxes off the bat. Alright, so no rainbow box, so hopefully we have a chance for evolution. Oh. Okay, here we go. There we go, evolution! Ranka-chan, yay! Yay! We got it! We got Hanami's new plate! Oh my goodness! Okay. Will we see it evolve? Oh, we got a new plate for Rei as well! Okay. Oh, the picture is so sad. Oh my goodness. Well, not a bad pool for second round. Here we go. No evolution. Oh! Okay, I finally have this plate evolve. That's quite a bit of data to load. <laughs> Boop! There we go. So we have the twins there. Nice. We do get Kaname's plate. So the luck on this is pretty good. We're going to go with it. I'm going to roll with it. Round two, round three actually. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get another copy. One, two, three. Ah, oh, no, four, five. Okay, one box. 
Two box. Hopefully it evolves. Let's just skip all the common stuff. Uh -huh. Wow, they're all at the far end. Okay, here we go. No evolution. Okay. Oh, we do get it. Uh, secret board unlocked for this. That's not too bad. Here we go. No. Okay, more secret boards for this as well. Oh, we evolved. Nice. So, so far we haven't been getting any new plates for Kaname's costume. I'm going to exit and re-enter again for the last one. Just to improve chances. Okay. Here we go. Last one, guys. Hopefully we get to see Kaname's plate evolve. Oh my goodness, no planes at all? Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay, we do have two boxes. Hopefully it evolves. Here we go. No evolution. Oh! But we do get Kaname's new exclusive plate. That's pretty nice. So hopefully that will give us enough points for the costume. Here we go. Oh! It's fully evolved! <laughs> Alright, I, that, I can't complain about this. See, even Kaname is happy about it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, pretty awesome. I think we have enough points. There you go, we have enough points for Kaname's costume. Alright guys, let's go to the costume page. We're gonna unlock Kaname's costume right here, right now. Uh, including Cheryl's previous costume as well. We don't get to fully evolve Kaname's plate, but I think that's fine. Um, because with the plate at 5 stars, we do have enough, or rather we do have the capability of getting that 5% bonus for the event itself, so that's pretty useful. Um, the plate does give a 10 point to the item note straight away, so having it at 6 star actually doesn't really matter as much when it comes to collecting the extra note um, but the stats however will um, play a part in terms of getting high scores so yeah alright so let's see um, we have enough points here where is the how? oh don't tell me they're all in the secret boards oh my goodness that's so expensive do I really have to unlock the costume via secret boards? Oh my goodness, that's gonna cost me a ton of materials. Do I have enough? Okay, guys, I tell you what. Oh, we do have Mikael's plate here. Um, let's just power this up and see how things goes. Because... I really don't want to spend too many resources just unlocking the costume via secret boards. Um, it's kind of painful. We do require 140 points more. From the looks of it, yeah, 140 points is gonna... There is 60 here from the secret board, 30 here. Oh my goodness, they're all from the secret boards. Okay guys, I am not going to unlock Cheryl's costume because secret board unlocking is too costly in terms of materials let's just head over to the main attraction which is Kaname herself all right let's do this wow we've got oh Ray Ray's plate is actually Kaname's points as well wow okay I didn't expect that I thought we've gone towards Reina's costume instead okay that's it for this plate. And we have Messer. Oh no, is that Arat or no? That's Arat, yeah. <laughs> so confusing when it comes to differentiating who is who behind them. In pilot helmet. Okay. Here we go.
Alright, this plate is done. We do have this, but it's not fully evolved. I would have loved to have this fully evolved. Okay. Okay, this is fully evolved though. Um, I won't max out this plate yet because I would like to have at least a certain amount of secret boards unlocked before powering this plate up fully. So let's just get all the costume points and move on. I'll definitely pull this um, episode plate out again when uh, when Kanami's plate comes through another uh, reissuing gacha. So yeah, definitely will have this evolve. If not, maybe I'll use the um, Red Up Star to evolve this plate. <laughs> there we go. Loving this costume. Alright, so we do have quite a bit of points left over. I'm gonna power up this plate um, on my own free time after this video is done. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this um, gacha pool has been pretty entertaining and uh, insightful to whether or not you should be pulling this gacha banner or not. Well, the answer is there clearly. You definitely would benefit full well um, from this gacha banner pool um, uh, if you obtain either Kaname's or Reina's plates. Uh, I definitely would have liked to obtain Reina's plate. Uh, I did. I still do not have her plate. So, yeah, um, it would have definitely been a very handy addition to the, the collection because I need plates to help me boost my high score performance. So having Reina's plate would have definitely benefited me more. I have enough plates for um, item notes by now. So yeah, Reina's plate would have definitely benefited me more uh, as compared to Kaname's. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have better luck than I do. Um, obtaining Kaname's plate is definitely a good thing, um, but it's definitely not the best result as for what I actually need um, yeah so with that said guys uh, thank you guys so much for watching once again do let me know in the comments down below uh, if you've gotten um, better stuff or maybe you have a, a different opinion regarding the gacha itself or regarding the episode plates within the gacha or maybe even comparing Kanamis to Freya's episode plate, whoever or whatever you want to say, let me know in the comments down below. Do hit the like button if you like all the information I shared with you guys. And of course, if you like my um, pools, <laughs> do let me know as well. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!